Jonas here at CR Components. I'm going to walk you through replacing the shaft seal in your torque up brake piston. Before we get started, if your shaft seal is leaking and you notice hydraulic oil in your gearbox, uh, you probably need to change and or check your inline case strain filter. All right, first thing we're gonna do here is on the press after you've gotten the oil drain and you have uh, all your gears removed from your gearbox, we're gonna go ahead and press down on the brake piston. Uh, Make sure you're not pressing right on the needle bearings there. Go right around them if you can. We'll kind of work our way up to the top of the press here. We'll press this down so we can release this snap ring here. Once you've given yourself enough room, you can really just get a flat head down on the start of the snap ring here on this side. And kind of get right in one of those openings. If I can do it here. There we go. You can lift that up and get it started. And it should pop right on out. Then you can release your press. Take your press tools out of there. We're gonna go ahead and remove that snap ring. Now that that brake piston is not secure in there anymore, we can uh, actually we can take a little bit of weight, put it right on top, and we're gonna put some air right into your brake release port, which is this port right down here. This one right here. So I like to put a little pressure on top of the brake piston and we're just going to put a little bit of air in there. It's going to shoot it right up. I'm going to take that out and then we can go over my bench. We can compare with another brake piston. All right, once you have your brake piston out, I'm going to go ahead and use this one as an example right here. To remove that shaft seal, we actually uh, remove the shaft seal and the needle bearings at the same time. So we kind of use the middle part of our brake piston here and set the top part right on there. Use a socket that ground down a little bit, fits in there nicely. We'll just simply smack it right out. shaft seal and your needle bearings there. Go ahead and wipe this down. Once we clean that shaft seal area, we can get our brand new shaft seal here. Throw some grease around the outside. Set it right down in there. That spring side will be facing out. Take a rubber mallet here. I just put one in right on top of that shaft seal and smack it in with my other hammer. It will go in cockeyed sometimes. Just make sure you're getting all of the seal in. You can check that it's in quickly by just kind of flipping it over and seeing if there's a gap in there. There shouldn't be any gap. Then you can put your needle either if your other needle, needle bearings are still good, you can put those back in or you can install a new pair or a new set. Uh, another symptom of back pressure issues would be your sun gear. Your sun gear sits right down into that thing amongst your other gears. It's actually more like that. With back pressure issues, this will shoot your sun gear straight up into your lid and it will rub across your lid. All right, reinstalling your brake piston down into your torque hub, back on the press. We're gonna go ahead and line the middle part of your brake piston up with the top of this dimple on the lower part of your brake piston. 
So that hole with that dimple, go right in. And you can kind of just press it down until those seals go right into place. Right there, it'll kind of suction in. We can take our disc, throw this back on. Make sure the first one is facing down, then up, and then down again. We can put the top of our brake piston right back on there. And you can kind of put some pressure on there. Now go straight down in. Put our snap ring back on, and then we can build back up to our press with our press tools. Oh, right there on that table's fine. Once you press it down far enough past that snap ring groove, you can go ahead and put that snap ring in. I start on the opening here, the snap ring, I start one end in first, push it in and kind of bend it up while keeping pressure down where I started it. Work my way around just like that. And now your brake piston is installed and you can release your press again. <laughs>